Hi students, let's continue with the implementation of lexical analyzer. So in this video, I want to explain uh, how to implement the lexical analyzer by using the Lex tool. So this is a tool which is used to implement the lexical analyzer. So this is an automatic tool. So Lex is officially known as a lexical analyzer. So this officially we call it as a lexical analyzer. Its main job is what its main job? Its main job is to break up. Let me write that point. Its main job is to break up an input stream. So whatever the input stream is there that has to be break up into tokens. So just like a lexical analyzer. So it's just uh, the lexical analyzer is, uh, is officially known as a lex tool. Okay. So its main job is to break up an input stream into tokens. So uh, we this lex is an automated tool. Uh, we call it as a lex is a tool for automatically automatically generating a lexer that is a scanner so uh, this lex is a tool for automatically generating a lexer so how it is going to be generated how this lex is going to support the lexical analyzer to convert the source to the uh, target means it's just uh, uh, convert the source program into series of tokens uh, by using this lex tool let's see uh, let's take the Lex source code. Step 1. Let's take the Lex source program. The Lex source program is let's take Lex.l. Lex.l. L, dot L is a Lex source program. So this source program is converted sent to the Lex compiler. So, with the help of the Lex compiler, you will it generate an output as lex.yy.c. So, which is a, a input for the compiler. So, the source program is converted into lex.yy.c, which is an input for the compiler. So, in the step 2, Step 2, this lex.yy.c, what is an output, uh, that, uh, that output that we get from lex compiler. So, this acts as an input to the C compiler. And this C compiler is going to produce A dot out. So, A dot out or A dot ex, it's nothing but a lexical analyzer. Step 3, Aid, uh, input stream, whatever the lexical analyzer A dot out we get, that will be signed to the sequence, produce a sequence of tokens. Okay, so far we have just seen this thing, uh, input stream, Input stream, lexical analyzer produces a sequence of token. So, how internally, previously what we are seeing, input, lexical analyzer and you will gen generate a tokens. So, input is a source code and the tokens. So, here what the lexical analyzer is doing, the lexical analyzer is taking the character one by one and it is going to be converted into it is going to check what are the identifiers and what are the tokens and what are the lexemes, everything it is finding and it is producing a sequence of tokens to the uh, as an output that it is doing. But with the help of the lex, okay, so here a lex will be there. So with the help of the lex tool, it's automatically generating the tokens, Okay, how it is going to generate? So, it's with the help of the Lex C compiler, with, with the help of the Lex compiler, that Lex compiler is uh, already com compiled 
whatever the source program that is there it's just taken the tokens and it is compiled and it is uh, with the help of the c compiler it is producing exactly uh, what the lexical analyzer wants okay so don't be confused just input and we need an output as a tokens so in between this there is a so many operations of performing okay so by skipping all those operations that are performed by the lexical analyzer the lex tool is automatically generating uh, what exactly the lexical analyzer wants so everything will be done in the lex compiler so what it is done here so it's a step one it's just take the source program lex.l and send to the lex compiler and it is generating one output that output is again sending to the c compiler and it is producing uh, what exactly the lexical analyzer wants so that will be stored here and sends a sequence of tokens okay so this input stream uh, whatever the input stream that it is uh, uh, getting so uh, that source code and relating information to that source code will be sent to the lexical analyzer now let's see the structure of a uh, lex program structure of lex program so don't be confused the lex tool is only it is a source program which supports with the uh, with the help of the input uh, source code it uh, converted what exactly the lexical analyzer wants okay so with the help of this tool the lexical analyzer is going to generate tokens automatically that is a main concept with the help of the lex tool the lexical analyzer is going to generate tokens automatically so what is the structure of lex program declaration is a one section and the next section is the translation rules translation rules and the third section total three sections will be there auxiliary say function so this third section is an optional one so total three sections will be there okay so the declaration se section so what this declaration section consisting of so it declares all the variables declaration of variables and translation rules the translation rules have the form of patterns actions like that so whatever the program that is we are writing uh, taking the input input stream so that input stream will be represented in the form of lex program so that input stream whatever we are taking let us take uh, a is equal to b plus c into d so this input uh, stream is going to be converted into uh, with the help of the lex program so this is an input stream let me take this is an input stream so this input stream is uh, returning in the form of lex program so if it if we written in the form of lex program then the lexical analyzer can easily understand what is what are the tokens here and what are the uh, what is the operation it is going to be uh, performed so everything will be understand so with the help of this input and the, with the help of the program lex program the lexical analyzer is getting the tokens automatically okay so the translation rules what are the translation rules in the lex program the translation rules uh, this input stream will be represented in the form of uh, just like a pattern whatever the action that is performing okay and what about the auxiliary functions the auxiliary functions are nothing but the extra function means these functions can be compiled separately can be compiled separately so that's why i said this is an optional one separately and loaded with uh, lexical analyzer okay so this is the structure of lex program so let's take a small program uh, how this uh, lex uh, program will be look like okay 
so with the help of the input stream whatever the input stream that we are taken that input stream is uh, represented in the form of a lex program so that the lexical analyzer can automatically convert into sequence of tokens let's see the lex program lex program so what's the program the program was let's take uh, write a program to count the number of ovals and constants in a given grammar so this lex program i'll explain in the next video thank you